seeing how long I can go without any food or water. Okay, so as you guys know, it is Ramadan, so I can't drink water or eat any food from sunrise to sunset. But instead of breaking my fast today at 7 p.m., I wanted to see how long I can keep going without breaking my fast. Not eating is already too easy, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of challenges throughout the day that's gonna make me either hungry or very thirsty. The first challenge was given to me by my mom. Can you go get the chairs and the tables from outside? But mom, I'm fasting and it's hot. Just do it. This challenge started off hard because there's many tables and chairs I had to bring out of the store. Keep in mind, it's like 100 degrees out here and these tables and chairs are extremely heavy. Okay, I know that didn't look like a lot, but it's extremely hot out here and these tables are extremely heavy. It's time to take all these tables and chairs all the way to the front of the house. So we have a long journey and I'm really hoping I don't crave any water after this. This is the challenging part because I had to walk with the tables and chairs for a while. And each table and chair kept getting heavier and heavier and my heart kept beating faster and At faster. the end of this, all I wanted to do was sleep. All right, guys, challenge one is officially over. I don't know if it looked hard to you guys, but it was extremely difficult. Keep in mind, the chairs are heavy, the tables are heavy, and it's hot outside. Gosh, all I want right now is a tall glass of ice cold water. Oh, that sounds so good. All right, mom, I got all the chairs and tables. Thank you. Can I drink some water? No, you can't. What are you doing? Some dessert. Huh? Dessert! What kind of dessert? Show us. What is that? We can't see. Show us. What is this? <laughs> Open your mouth. What kind of dessert? Open your mouth. Karim is not ready yet. Obviously, I'm asking what kind is it? I don't know. It's my ikhtira min aqli. I don't know what that means, but... Okay. Hey guys, for challenge number two, I got my little sister Seema. Ow. Say what's up. I'm so hungry. Yeah, we are very hungry. Seema's fasting as well, but not like me. I don't think I've told her yet, but I'm fasting for more than 24 hours. Do you think I can do it? No. What do you mean a lie? You're gonna she, break it in like three hours. You get to break yours in three hours, but not me. Anyway, for this challenge, we're gonna be naming our favorite foods and trying to make it seem as delicious as possible so we can go crazy. I know that doesn't sound hard, but when you haven't ate or drank anything, it's hard. You can start it off. Go. Chick-fil-A. Oh, Chick-fil-A does sound good, guys. I don't know if you have Chick-fil-A where you're from, but they got the best chicken sandwiches. All right, how about Raising Cane's? Ah! Uh, oh, hot chicken tenders. Mmm. They're sauce. Oh, the sauce. No, the Chick-fil-A sauce. Now that's good. Chocolate chip cookies. Oh, chocolate chip cookies. Okay, what about chocolate chip cookies? Like hot chocolate chip cookies with ice cream on Ah! Uh, you know what? How about no food and you just get a fresh, cold cup of lemonade? Lemonade. Oh! <laughs> that sounds so good! French fries. Ooh. Okay, now imagine French fries with cheese Stop. and steak on top. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Are you serious? Guys, the hardest part about this whole challenge is that you're in the same house as the person cooking food. What are you Man. making, Mom? What is that? I don't know. I just created from my brain. What? Well, well what is this? It looks really good. I want to become... But yeah, Sate, leave me alone. You're not answering the question. What is it? <laughs> I swear I don't know. Okay, well, what's this cream? Because it looks uh, good. This is, I made it from my brain. From my You made it from your brain. <laughs> I don't think you have a brain. All right, guys, it's about 6.40, and we break our fast in about 30 minutes. But right now, we're headed to challenge number three. It's not the smartest thing to do a challenge right now, but we got to do it. I'll be honest, guys, my stomach is growling. I'm getting very thirsty, and I feel completely energyless. If that's even a word. And this challenge we're doing right now is not going to help that at all. I don't want to give it away just yet, but let's head over there right now and I'll explain to you guys what we're doing. Challenge number three consisted of a high intensity workout. It started off with round one and it went all the way up to round nine. This was a 30 minute workout, so I started off with the light jump rope and then I busted out some cool moves and that took a toll on me. Round number two was weights and it was honestly so hard to even lift 20 pounds. When I got to round number four, I started to hit the bag and in the beginning I used a lot of power and then I started to slow down coming to the end. As you can see, I got really tired really quickly and I felt like that was the end of that workout. A few moments later. Oh my god. After 30 minutes, we are finally done. I'm not gonna lie, it does feel good to get a workout in, but at the same time, I am extremely dehydrated and I feel unhealthy. I brought a water bottle just in case I had to take a sip, but as you can see, I did not open it one bit. I'm running on zero food, zero water, and this is the third challenge of the day, and by far the hardest. But what's gonna be harder than this is going home to my whole family. They already broke their fast, they already ate my mom's delicious cooking, and I have to resist. I'm literally shaking. <laughs> All right, guys, let's head home and see what's happening over there. Hey, guys, I just got back home and check this out. Mom, this is what you were making all day today? I'm so sorry. Oh, my God, I want to bite so bad. What is that? It's yummy, but it looks horrible. What? How was the food, Seema? It was great. 
You're happy you broke your fast? So happy. <laughs> I started to wander around my kitchen, look through my fridge, smell my mom's dessert, smell the juice, and it was driving me a little bit crazy. And then I walked into my pantry and saw this. Guys, if you don't know, these chips right here are the absolute greatest chips of all time. But no. I will not be weak. I'm literally filling up a cold glass of water just because I want to torture myself. I'm not even going to drink this. Oh my gosh, guys. That looks so good. Oh. Bye. Not drinking you. Bye. All right, guys. I'm going to take a shower right now. And that honestly sounds pretty easy. But I consider this another challenge. Without any water or any food and working out all day, we're about to take a hot steam shower. We're going to burn up a little more. We're going to sweat a little more. And we're going to crave water a lot more and get lightheaded. So this is not healthy. But we're going to do it because your boy needs to shower. So I'll keep you guys updated on how that goes. By the way, guys, I'm weighing myself right now. Do not make fun of my socks. I am 174. Usually your boy is 178. Yeah, I'm a fatty. So I lost like four pounds today, which is crazy. But anyway, let's go shower and lose some more weight. After my shower, I felt completely lightheaded. The hot water and steam completely took a toll on me. And I just had to lay down. But when I tried getting up, this is what happened. Ooh. I felt completely lightheaded and it was about time to give up on this You guys, challenge. I think it's that part of the challenge where it's time to quit. All right, guys, I got it. The first sip of water today. Can I have a you're literally eating right now. I haven't had anything all day. It's my turn. Stop! What do you say first? Wow. <laughs> Bismillah. Wow. That is good. After you drink it, you say alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Woo! That was good. All right, Shane, what can you feed me right now? What are you doing? Is that the cereal you're eating? What is this? Chocolate almond granola cereal from Trader Joe's? That's disgusting. Now we're talking. Maybe try some cinnamon toast. Oh. Guys, I don't know what I'm about to eat just yet, but I know I'm about to just feast. A starving child in Africa or in Syria or anywhere in the world would not call this disgusting. They would be begging for it. Like, why you gotta bring that up right now, bro? Yeah. You're supposed to realize, like, if food is not for indulging, it's just for filling your stomach and then being thankful for it. So you're filling up. your stomach with a bunch of cereal or you're indulging in it? <laughs> right now, a little bit of both. Caramel coffee almonds? Yeah, I don't know. My family doesn't know how to shop. Throughout this challenge, I learned a lot about patience, discipline, and how grateful I am to have food whenever Every I need Every sip it. of water I'm gonna take from here on out, I'm gonna be super grateful for And all the times I felt like quitting throughout this challenge made me a stronger person. And I challenge you guys to give this a shot. That's gonna wrap up today's vlog, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.